Welcome everyone to an introduction to ecological forestry, the fifth session of ecological forestry for beginners, a workshop series for new forest stewards, brought to us by the Nova Scotia Woodlot Owners and Operators Association, held in the Inverness County of Nova Scotia, in the woodlands owned and operated on by Bill and Ruth McCauley, the Woodland Owners of the Year in 2018, and members of the NSWOOA. This session was led by Ryan Dickey, Extension Forester with the Family Forest Network of Nova Scotia. Ecological forestry aims to emulate natural disturbances found within Nova Scotia. Through civil culture and cutting practices, we try to manipulate the stand to resemble repeated episodes of less severe disturbances. By emulating small-scale natural disturbances, we create a more diverse stand with multiple age structures. In contrast, a single large-scale disturbance may create a less diverse single age stand. White pine, red oak, and red maple are all long-lived shade intermediate to tolerant species. Studies have shown that these species will fare better with the projections for climate change. Retention of long-lived shade intermediate to tolerant species provides a more resilient woodland for the future. A diverse forest adds to a woodland's resilience to disturbances. Having a multi-aged woodland means there are trees in the understory ready to take the place of the dominant stems after a disturbance takes place. Having diversity in species helps prevent large-scale disturbances as some pathogens only affect certain species and different species will respond differently to different disturbances. A diverse forest can also provide more suitable habitat for our wildlife. All habitats require water, food, shelter, and space. Different species of wildlife need different amounts of these components for a habitat to be suitable. By having a diverse woodland, we create more opportunities for these components to be found and for them to be found in varying amounts, allowing for a greater abundance of wildlife to identify these areas as suitable habitat. Retention of trees not commonly found within a forest stand helps promote the future diversity of the surrounding area. Retaining these diversity trees provides a seed source for natural regeneration and depending on species, they can also provide food, shelter, or other habitat elements required by many different species of wildlife. It is important to consider the future of your woodland when planning silviculture or cutting practices. Aim to promote diversity within the area, retain long-lived shade intermediate to tolerant species, and protect the uncommon species or diversity trees that you find.